everyone welcome back to Birdcage Craft Studio with myself Sue Ralph and this is my crafting tip from me to you number 51. So as I said welcome again and thank you very much for checking back. Today I thought what we would do we'd talk about some little Halloween treat, what well, they're little treat pouches. These are ever so quick and easy to put together and you don't have to spend a lot of money and I'm just going to go through this and just show you how how quickly they are to make. Okay, so I have a piece of cardstock here, which is a six by six piece. It doesn't matter, you can use different sizes as I have on that project. And I've got some paper by coordination. This is um, a colour core called Black Magic. And basically what it is, you have the black topping, but underneath you have a colour. And then when you put it through your embossing folder, which is what I'm going to do now, and you use an emery board, you can take some of the black off and expose the colour underneath. So I'm just going to quickly run this through my big shot. Okay, so I'm putting my embossing folder between my two plates and then I'm just going to use the platform without any other little tabs to it. I'm going to pop it through my machine. Unfortunately this makes the camera shake a little bit, so apologies. And then can you see I haven't managed to catch that side, but what I'm going to do, open that B folder, pop it back in, line it up as best I can. And to be honest, it doesn't matter because you're going to be covering the pouch anyway. Again, sandwich it up between your plates, pop it through the machine again. Roll it on through. And then you have your pattern that's come out. I don't know if it shows better on the green side. Okay, so now I'm just going to take an emery board and I'm just literally going to rub over the top. And can you see the colour is starting to be exposed? So just sand off as much as you want. And you get the pattern that you, you uh, like the look of. Just get yourself a piece of kitchen paper and just rub all that dust off. Clean the surface up a little bit. And there we are. You have your paper ready to do um, whatever project you want. Okay, so these pouches are ever so quick and easy to do. So you'll need some double-sided tape. And what you want to do is you want to think about how you're doing it. You're going to need to fold this into almost like a cylinder. So you need to think about where you're going to put your tape. So your tape needs to be along the black side. So you need to pop that along there, all the way down, like so. Just need to cut a little bit extra. Just pop that down in there. And then turn it to the inside and you want a little bit of tape across the middle on both ends. Like so. And this is going to help to stick your pouch together once you put your goodies inside it. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to take double sided tape off your long strip down the side. Let's just pull that over. And then bring it over, as I said, to make a sort of a cylinder and just very carefully match the paper up to the end of where the tape is and do that the whole length down and just make sure that that's all just stuck into place and because it's very sticky tape so you have to be very careful not to press down too hard until you've totally lined it up and then once you've done that just pop your fingers inside and just make sure that's stuck down nicely and now you've got your tube so what you want to do inside there you need to take off this liner first it can be a little bit tricky this is where my pokey tool would come in useful let's put that back down and take that end off okay and then where the um the other tape was where you've got a seam you want to just squish it so that, that seam is in the middle and squish down and then what happens is then you've sealed the end of that pouch 
and then what I tend to do is I use a paper crimper and I just pop it in and then just turn it in slightly just a couple of turns and then you crimp that edge but it also uh, then makes sure that it seals nicely so now this is where you want to bring in your little goodies okay so I'm going to pop in a lollipop just pop it straight inside I've got some little stickers pop those in and then a couple of little chews something else that's quite fun is you can either put the cobwebs in or you can get this sort of um, sparkly paper that you can get if, I think it's more for Christmas get some of that out and pop it inside okay just like so and then you can even pop in a little monster if you want to so once you've filled up your little pouch make sure that everything is inside and then again you just need to take off your double sided tape just the, the liner for it take that off and the other thing to do is we've sealed it that way so what you want to do now is you want to pinch it the other way okay so that's flat that side but we want it to go the other way so I'm going to pinch that together okay and then can you see how we've now got the pouch so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut those little ends off just to smarten that up obviously you can spend a bit more time than I am I'm just trying to do this within a time frame and then bring your crimper back in and just crimp it down just to make 100% sure that it's all nicely sealed and then you've got your little sweet pouch and then ever so easy just get yourself some cardstock and do a punch just a little tag out and then what I've got here some white cardstock and on here I've got happy Halloween so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to use my black marker pen just to go over the Halloween happy Halloween sentiment like so and then a little bit of orange just to pick out that pumpkin like that and then a bit of huff <sighs> press down and then I'm going to use my window punch just to pin punch out the sentiment like so use a little bit of um, double sided tape I've got some on here just to lift that up a little bit that sentiment like so and I'm just going to put it just slightly in the middle because I'm going to offset it just in the middle of the tag so I'm just going to pop that on there like that okay and then out of my packet of stickers I have some um, little pumpkins and spiders so I'm just going to take off another little pumpkin I'm going to just pop one in the corner there okay I'm going to take my hole punch and I'm just going to punch the smaller hole here so that I can thread some ribbon round and then I'm going to punch it out on my pouch as well get my ribbon and then just put that through the hole and I'm just going to thread it through and then pop it through the hole on the pouch like so and just tie it into place you can do a bow or you can leave it loose it's entirely up to you okay so just going to do that there and now I'm just going to bring in oh, my stickers again I move them so let's have a nice big spider's web let's just pop one coming down on there and then I've got a couple of other little spiders so we have one hanging down from the top and then just pop, pop a couple more on 
And these stickers, you can find them a lot in, um, in lots of different shops at the moment. They're not very expensive at all. And then to finish off, I bought this big bag of spiders webbing. And all you need is a, just a small amount, just cut it off, like so. Take yourself just a little piece of sticky tape, double-sided sticky tape, and this will just help to fix the one corner. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to fix a little bit to the corner, and then that will just help to take my spider's web in the right place, so that I can then pull it down over the rest of the box or the pouch I should say sorry so I'm just going to have it on the corner and then I'm just going to pull it out in my fingers just bring it up to the corners and it tends to grab the corners quite nicely and then just pull it around you may not need all of this because you can actually probably take some of it off and just wrap it around and I think that gives you quite a sort of a, a nice Halloweeny look with the spider's web so there we are. That was fairly quick and easy to do. And I think the children, if they come knocking on your door, will really like these because they're not quite sure what's inside and they can't see the sweets. And of course, you can put anything you like in them. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'll be back with another one tomorrow. Bye for now.